Senator Nelson on Tuesday wrote to Governor Leon Guerrero advising that she was unilaterally refusing to report out the nomination. She cited concerns over Tidinko's role as port board chairman when seven employees were fired for allegedly conspiring on an illegal workers' compensation payment to a former port marketing manager. But the governor is still very much behind her nominee, whose expertise and talent she says would benefit the airport, something she hopes senators consider. I wish that she would um, just encourage it through committee and that also uh, that the committee members read the documents that have been submitted so it becomes very fair and transparent. Tidinko submitted documents chronicling a legal counsel investigation into the alleged cover-up of the $70,000 payment. Allegations the employees have denied and has prompted nearly seven years of back and forth hearings at the Civil Service Commission and the courts. Well, I don't have any comments on that. The Port 7 case is a case that's happening going down through the, you know, normal judicial process. So I don't have any position or statement. But the governor is urging Senator Nelson to let Tidinko have his own day in court by letting the full committee debate his nomination. Meanwhile, the governor says she met with her embattled nominee. Just wanted to see how he was doing. Very positive, you know, his whole thing is um, he doesn't feel that what the allegations are are correct. And uh, he, you know, dance a, dance a um, resilient person and he'll do what's best for the community and for the island of Guam. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto.